This is the guitar lesson for Neil Young's Down by the River from GuitarMadeEasy.com. First things first, make sure your guitar is in standard E tuning. Three parts I'm going to show you to this song, which is basically the whole song. It's the intro, which is also the verse, so the intro slash verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus of the song, okay? So let's start off with the intro slash verse. All it is is two chords, E minor 7 and A major. Okay? And if I was to strum it, it would go like this. Let me do that again. Notice I hammered on when I went to the A chord, okay? All right, you can hear that in the song. The other thing too, is when I'm strumming this, uh, when I'm strumming the intro or the verse, what I'm doing is I'm not just strumming it and letting all the strings ring. As my pick is coming down, I'm also having my palm, this part of my palm, come down and hit the strings at the same time that the pick is. It gives you this kind of sloppy uh, Neil Young electric guitar sound, okay? So watch, watch very closely. Okay, so experiment with that. Use your palm, and as your hand's coming down to strum, let your palm hit the strings just as you're picking. It'll give you that cool muted sound, okay? One more thing I wanna show you is the strumming pattern for the verse, which is basically this. I'm going to play through it very slowly so you can see it, okay? I'm not gonna tell you which ones are down and up. You could just gotta rewind the video and figure it out, okay? But this is it very slow, and remember, before I hit that E minor seven every time, it's two down strums on the E string, okay? So. So now you have the strumming pattern down, okay? The next part I want to show you is the pre-chorus of the song. Two chords, actually technically three chords to the, uh, the pre-chorus of the song. And that's the part where uh, he says, uh, she could drag me over the rainbow. And all it is is basically C major seven. So you make a C, take your pointer finger off and that's your C major seven. You let everything ring, you just don't play that bottom E chord, okay? I, I try to mute that with my thumb, if, if you can see up here, I just let these five strings ring. Okay, so, C major seven, B minor. I let these chords ring too. C major seven, B minor. C major seven, That's that third chord right there. Everybody knows a D. All right, that's all it is. And the final part, the chorus of the song, the probably the funnest part, most fun part to play in the song is down by the river. And all it is is this three times. All right, so G. Okay, not bad. So all you gotta know for the course is G, D, D, A. And you can hear that on the track when he strums it, but sometimes if you know you've been strumming so long and you feel like there's really not a whole lot of substance to the course, you're just basically strumming through each chord once, you can do this and go. You 
can add a couple more strums in there to kind of give it a little bit more oomph, you know? All right, and the last part I'm going to show you is the, I'll give you an idea how to solo over this song. There's so many notes to uh, the lead in this song. It'd take me a, you know, an hour lesson to put it all in there, but this is the basis for it, okay? This is the most uh, recognizable lick in the song. Okay, it goes. <laughs> So, it's actually an E minor blues scale. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my ring finger and I put that on the second fret G string. I slide that up to the fourth, and then I use my middle finger and I hit the third fret B string. And then I slide back down to the second fret. So. And then I land on the D string at the second fret. And then you do this. Alright, so second fret, open, second fret, open, second fret, open, and then G open. Alright, so that whole thing sounds like this. Alright, that should give you uh, a little bit, just enough to be dangerous, and um, the rest of it, if you know your, uh, your E, uh, your E blue, E minor blues, um, just mess around with that, and those are basically what the majority of the licks that he plays, uh, where they come from. So, please subscribe to my channel, check out my other Neil Young lessons, I've got tons of them. Also, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. If you haven't already, let me give you something free. Go to my top, mysecretguitartips.com and download my top secret guitar tips absolutely free. And uh, also, if you'd like to learn how to play guitar from start to finish, please go to teachmeguitar.guitarmates.com, and I'll show you how. All right, guys, I will see you on the next guitar lesson. Thanks.